Welcome all. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is parameterized testing in TestNG? Let me answer. In TestNG, there are two ways in which this parameterization can be implemented. One way is by using parameters annotation. The other way is by using data provider annotation. When you specify parameters annotation before any test method, then that test method can receive the data from the centralized location, say testng.xml file. Let me show you here. So here we have a project. We have a testng.xml file. In this testng.xml file, there is a parameter having the name as URL and value as some application URL, okay? The actual URL is here. Here, the name of the URL that is URL is here. So this is all a parameter, guys, okay? This is a parameter. Now, if you want to, if you want to receive this, data okay this url data that is this particular application url into the test method so let's say there is a test method here in this project that is a test one test method okay this test method can receive the url as a data into this test method by using this at the rate parameters annotation when you specify at the rate parameters annotation before this uh, test method then you can pass the or receive the data, okay? You can receive the data from this testng.xml file. As you can see here, this test one test method is able to receive this URL data from this testng.xml file. This application URL is being passed here, guys, into this URL. And this is being passed into this parameter of this method, into this URL. Now you can access this URL here, driver.get URL, fine? So using this at the rate parameters annotation of testng, we can receive the data from a centralized location file known as testng.xml file. Now, the next one. The next one is data provider annotation. So what about this data provider annotation? So here we have another project, guys, uh, where this data provider annotation is implemented. Let me open this demo.java. As you can see here, there is a test method here, right? There is a test method whose purpose is to log in. This login test method will receive the username and password, okay, as parameters. This login test method will receive username and password as parameters. So when they receive, they will simply print out saying uh, user got logged in successfully using the received username and received password. That's what will be printed here. But guys, as you can see, there is another method known as get data method that I created here. This method is specified with at the rate data provider annotation. What does this at the rate data provider annotation will do? This will supply the data guys, okay? At the rate data provider annotation is meant for supplying the data from this method to the test method where the method name is specified like this. Data provider is equal to get data. From this data provider method, the data will be multiple sets of data will be supplied to the test method where connection is made, okay? This connection between the test method and data provider is made and this data provider method will supply the multiple sets of data. You see, there are three sets of data here. First set of data has a username and password as Arun1234. Second set of data has a username and password as Varun5678. Third set of data has a username and password specified as Tarun91010. So this method will supply three sets of data. That means this particular test method will run how many times? Three times. For every set of data, this test method will run one time. That means there are three sets of data. That means this test method will be called how many times? Three times. Every time, okay, in the first time this data is called, this uh, Arun will be passed to the username and uh, 1234 into the password and whatever that is, it will be printed. In the next iteration, when this uh, data provider uh, method will supply the data, it will supply the second set of data. Here, Varun will be passed to username and 5678 will be passed to password. In the third iteration, Tarun will be passed to username and 1010 into the password and so on. This test method will be executed for three times. When I run this code, you can see that right click run as test ng test. The same test method will run three times. Data driven testing, guys. Okay. Data driven testing is possible with the help of this approach where at the rate data provider method will pass multiple sets of data. Okay. It supplies the data, guys. Here you can see the same method login test, login test, login test got run three times, each time with different set of data. First set of data, second set of data, third set of data. So hope guys, you understood how parameterization in TestNG is possible. There are two ways. 
one is by using parameters annotation which will receive the data from a centralized location say testng.xml file okay this will help in avoiding uh, hard coding of the data guys okay we should not be hard coding the data in our tests rather we can receive the data from the centralized location like testng.xml file to avoid that problem coming to the data provider it supplies multiple sets of the data to the required test method so that's it guys thank you bye